after all, given the success that this team had had against you guys, how important is a game like this one, and especially in the manner in which you guys did it tonight with the late fourth quarter run? It was good. Uh, it was good to get this win. Uh, I mean, the first half went down to about 15, and to see us fight through it and get back in the game uh, uh, was uh, was a was a great step uh, in two walls. Uh, what we're trying to build here. How much did this one mean to you, just personally? Because it felt like you came out and just refused to let them get another win here. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, we've been losing a lot to them. So tonight, you know, um, one of the things I've been watching, playing against them, you know, I kind of shy away from being physical. But tonight, uh, uh, you know, just watching uh, film, all the film, I just knew that I had to come out and be extra physical and set the tone. And um, I'm glad we got the win. So what was your reaction to what happened with Marcus Smart when he shoved you? Um, obviously, I was frustrated because it was a cheap shot. Uh, I didn't see it coming, caught me off guard. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I don't really want to talk about him, so I don't care. It seemed like that kind of motivated you, though. You know, after, Afterwards, you pretty much took over. I mean, did, did you see it that way? Oh uh, yeah, uh, for sure. I mean, stuff like that. He gets me going. He gets the car going, and everybody know that I play better when the car is involved. Uh, and so uh, that energy was definitely good for us. Jimmy said uh, that he was tired first three quarters with the back to back, and he said, "Get us there to the fourth, and you did that. Did you get a sense that that was going to be his time, and that he'd be? Yeah, uh, we talked about it uh, before the game. Uh, I told him that uh, I needed him tonight, uh, that I needed this win, and uh, he told me to get him to the fort, uh, and you know, he's going to take over, and that's what I try to do, and obviously in the fort, uh, he's, a, he's our best closer, he's the, you know, got to put the ball in his hands uh, in the fort, and you know, I'm just, I'm going to do my thing uh, whenever I have the ball, but uh, that was my job tonight, and he showed up, and in the fort, he was uh, fantastic. In terms of the uh, playoff intensity of this game, does this bring you guys to the next, you know, to see the, what it takes to get to the next level? Um, yeah, kind of. Uh, obviously, this is not the playoffs. This is only regular season. But, uh, you know, the other day, last Sunday, we played against the Bucks. Uh, and uh, that had the feeling of a playoff game. Uh, we got that win. And tonight, we got another one against one of the teams. We might compete for um, to get to the finals. Uh, so it was good to get uh, both wins. You know, Coach Pregame was talking about the responsibility you have to this franchise, this organization. What kind of responsibility did you have to want, want to come out here and really beat Boston, considering everything's been going on? Oh yeah, uh, I'm the leader, and uh, I've been here the longest. And you can call me whatever you want to call franchise player, supers, whatever. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. I know uh, what everybody believes and what uh, uh, everybody put on my shoulder. And to me, it's just about you know coming out every night and playing hard uh, and trying to you know help the team get wins. And obviously, I can't do it alone. My teammates have been amazing. Uh, the coaches, they've been doing a great job. And we can all do uh, much better than we've been doing tonight. Uh, our defense was uh, average. Um, we didn't play a league of defense in the first half, so we got to do a better job next time. Speaking of defense, what did you see on that, uh, that final drive by Kyrie? Uh, I mean, uh, the whole game, uh, the, the couple of drives he had on me, uh, you know, uh, uh, that's the thing about being a good defensive player. Uh, stuff happens and you learn uh, on the fly and uh, he likes to get his body into into guys or into me. So I figured that out and uh, uh, he tried to get his body into me and uh, I just let him through and uh, we covered up with my length and uh, he worked out pretty well, but obviously he's a great player, probably the best finisher in the league. Uh, so, you know, I had to do uh, whatever I could. Yo, you only play eight games together with your starting lineup. When you win like tonight and you get some walk, do you get a sense that when you are at your best, this five are at your best, that you're going to be really tough to beat? 
Oh yeah, for sure. When we all healthy, uh, since we've had uh, the new guys and uh, since we've been playing all together, all five starters playing the same game, we've been doing really good and we got two big wins. Uh, um, one sa uh, Sunday and tonight, so it's always good uh, for the mental aspect uh, of the game, especially going into the playoffs. Joel, on that last play with Kyrie, is the plan for you guys to switch? Was that something you wanted to do, or would you prefer to kind of drop back and? Oh, uh, that was a yeah. I mean, in situations like that, that was the plan to switch. And uh, uh, I mentioned that earlier on the SPN. I said that that was the best defensive play in the league. So I had to show that I, that I am uh, by making key plays and um, by doing my job. And uh, I'm glad I was able to get the stop. Couple more guys. You've mentioned before after games. Um, Really specific games, one in LA last year, that those were special games that you knew how good of a performance that it was. Did this one feel like one of those performances to you? Um, uh, not really. I mean, I shot under 50% from the field. Uh, I missed one free throw. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it wasn't that good of a game. I can't do much better than that. But what uh, I'm learning every day and every, uh, each day and every day, uh, this is only my third year, third year playing, uh, so and uh, I figured out that when I play low and I'm in attack more than I want to get to the rim, uh, I'm basically unstoppable, and I'm gonna get to the free throw line. So you just gotta keep doing that. And tonight I felt like I was aggressive uh, from the start, and you know I gotta have. That same mentality every night. Whenever my teammates, my coaches uh, want to find me, I got to be ready. Sometimes players can be victims of the moment, and you said to ESPN that you are the best defensive player in the league. Now that you had some time to think about it, and I just said it again. Uh, I am. Uh, I, I always say it. I say it all the time. Uh, you know, uh, just protecting the rim and, you know, guarding, uh, switching on guards. And, you know, I try to do the best job I can um, with my teammates' help. And, uh, you know, I really focus on that end. And, uh, you know, one of my goals was to, is to win the defensive player of the year. So, you know, I'm going to keep doing my job and trying to help us defensively. Is there a reason that teams turnovers, have, I think in the last five, like tonight it was nine, seven the other night, and it's been really high for a while. Has there been a conversation that has brought that number down? Um, there's always been a conversation, but it starts with me. Uh, I average about 3.5 turnovers. Uh, the other night um, I had one, tonight I had three. Uh, I think it was uh, uh, two where uh, one was an offensive foul and another one was a double dribble. Uh, so, you know, I got to be, uh, I got to have, I got to focus on that and I really do focus on that. So uh, I think that's going to be uh, one of the biggest things uh, going into the playoffs, making sure we take out the ball and it starts with me. I got to keep my turnovers down and, uh, and it, helps, it helps us better.